Samuel Milani here. We're here with um, head football coach Jeff Fox. Jeff, how are you doing today? Doing great. It's football season. That's We're right. uh, ready for the regular season to get going next week. There you go. Good stuff. So, Jeff, are there any uh, returning lettermen and, and senior standout players that uh, will impact the season to you? Yeah, we have uh, 19 returning lettermen, I think. Uh, yeah, we, we have a ton of returning players that we're very excited about that have gained a ton of Friday night experience. Um, experience doesn't necessarily guarantee you more success, but I know this is a confident group that uh, is ready to really improve this year. Yeah, and uh, included in those those returning lettermen are some of our key guys. You know, our four captains, Robbie Levac, our third-year starter at quarterback, Niles Beverly, a third-year starter at defensive back that's uh, you know a college recruit and gotten a lot of publicity for that. Um, he'll also play running back. Uh, Brendan O'Donnell has played four. Is a four-year letterman, uh, assuming he goes through this year at defensive back and a, a, a heady great player at the skill positions. Dylan Schneider returns as a third-year starter. He's played mostly tackles. He'll play some center as well this year on the lines and defensive line as well. So uh, you know those four were the the four voted captains by their teammates, and they've uh, have a ton of on-field experience and uh, you know have earned that that title of leader for what they've done and how they've persevered and continue to improve over the last two seasons. Jeff, do you see any uh, promising underclassmen that look like they're going to have some playing time this year? Uh, yes. We're, we're really excited about this sophomore class overall. Um, it's a deep class with lots of numbers and lots of kids that we think will fill in on special teams. Um, you know, our junior class is a handful of kids that lettered last year. Big Colin McConaughey, our uh, offensive and defensive lineman, and has the frame to be a you know a next level player. Uh, Ryan Short, Caleb Zender, uh, Jarrett Masajowski are guys that were all over the field on special teams, right? That enjoy running and hitting people. So um, there are quite a few young guys that should step into some uh, some big roles this year. So what was your record last year in the suburban league play? Uh, not good enough. We had uh, we had two big wins. Uh, the big win against Brexville. Uh, that I was really proud of how the kids responded in adverse times last year. Our opening six games were all playoff teams. Um, you know, the Fantastic 50 website had us as the eight t eighth toughest schedule in the state of Ohio last year. So, um, you know, you don't want to sit here and brag about your schedule when we weren't successful. And I was really proud of that at the end of the season, uh, getting some of those victories and how we were playing at the end of the year. Our kids were responding the right way, even though we weren't getting the victories early and uh, playing better at the end of the year than we were at the beginning. So, What areas do you think as a team that we need to improve on the most? Uh, there's plenty when we, when we didn't quite get the job done on the field last year. Um, you know, we've, we've played a, placed a big emphasis on all our upfront pieces. We return all our lines, um, and we're going to be able to run the ball this year and protect the quarterback. Uh, we're going to be able to stop the run. Um, and really that starting there will uh, make us a more solid team and really be able to hang in there against the top teams on our schedule. What areas do you think that um, we were very strong in last year and, and we should continue doing well this year? Uh, some of the guys I mentioned earlier, you know, our skill positions that, uh, you know, we return, you know, three starters at receiver and five seniors that will rotate that uh, Robbie Levac should throw the ball to. Defensively, a bunch of our back end players, but you know, like we mentioned, Brendan O'Donnell and Niles Beverly. Jacob Krause is coming off a little bit of an injury, but was solid at the end of last year. So we have players that are veteran and in the second year of this defensive system that, you know, on the perimeter, I think we had a lot of success at times, and it's something we can really build on and have confident, experienced players in those spots. Jeff, are there any new rules this year um, in regards to concussions or anything like that? Uh, not specifically this year, because I'm really proud of how the, you know, the football leadership community, you know, whether it's our coaching uh, communities or just the medical profession. Um, we're now a few years into really responding to uh, what's what we're learning about how concussions and how, uh, you know, head injuries impact our young people. So, uh, you know, we're, we're now a few years into base, doing baseline testing the right way, really letting medical professionals diagnose and concussions. We as a coaching community are very aware of it and will never put a kid in danger. Um, the game of football has never been safer because of the awareness, the education we have as coaches, how we practice and the style we do things to make sure kids are ready for play, but never put them in a situation to take too many hits. Um, and it's been interesting to me to observe uh, the narrative out there where football has been vilified, where you know, in all sports, my daughter's starting youth soccer and there's, you know, concussion awareness and things like that that um, we're all being aware of and uh, much more cognizant of the effects, both short term and long term for our young kids. So um, I think the game's responded really well. I think people are aware of it now and we're going to just put kids in a much safer space and uh, the game of football is still going to thrive because it's it's the best platform we have to develop young men. And uh, I'm really excited about where we're going, both medically, 
um, with our relationship with the University Hospitals and our new trainer, Dominic Ramacone, and, uh, and, and the whole game of football, how we're developing young men in, in our community. So, Jeff, what is your outlook on the Suburban League this year? Uh, it, it should be an unbelievably tough test as well um, this year. Um, you know, when, when Mr. Football in the state of Ohio is in your conference, when there's three playoff teams, uh, and year in and year out, whoever is left standing at the end of the year goes and does damage in the playoffs. And that's why we enjoy being in the top end of the Suburban League. Um, and, you know, all three of our non-conference opponents are playoff qualifiers in, in 2017. So um, at the end of the year, we get done what we have to get done, and we make the playoffs. We're going to be ready to play anybody and uh, be very confident group. So that's why we love the schedule we play. Um, when you have that gauntlet of Wadsworth, Hudson, Stowe, weeks four, five, six, um, you know, end the season with rival Twinsburg um, from top to bottom, week in, week out. There's, there's no easy game or a game you can look past. It, it really makes us be process oriented and ready for each game one at a time. Gotcha. Last but not least, how does it feel to be on Denzel Ward's Wikipedia page? <laughs> um, it, it's been really surreal. surreal. Um, changing the perspective that these are just kids that are you know in this NFL experience and getting to stay in touch with him and his family this whole offseason while he's taking the step and um, gotten drafted so highly and gets to stay home here in Ohio to be in Cleveland is uh, it's been a lot of fun and you're just really happy for Denzel his family um, and how, and we're so proud of you know obviously his success on the field but more importantly how well he's handled himself how he handles himself with such grace and humility in all these situations and he's just a great kid to represent Nordonia High School in our community. Jeff thank you so much.